today the topic of discussion is in array address calculation we'll study how to calculate address of multi dimensional address calculation prior to this we have seen how to calculate 1d address then we have seen 2d address that is row major order and column major order row major order and then we have seen column major order now we'll see multi dimension what is what do you mean by multi what we mean by multi dimension is that means when there is more than two dimension that is three dimension four dimension five dimension n dimension we talk about fine okay so let's start with multi dimension so multi dimension array address calculation so i have taken this con this concept this this uh, diagram or this language from uh, again tms tata macro hill so it's a one of the standard book so what is two dimension five cross four matrix this is what two dimension and if i say some dimension is five cross four cross three this is three dimension if i say five cross four cross seven this is what four dimension similarly this is what trying to tell you given a multi-dimension array are defined analogously more specifically an n dimension array where m1 m2 mn are array array b is a collection of m1 into m2 into mn data elements why suppose you have a matrix and you have a 5 cross 4 matrix and if i say there are 5 rows and 4 columns how many elements are there so element will be 5 into 4 20 elements similarly if a matrix is of dimension m1 into m2 into m3 into mn so how many elements will be there so multiplication of this so this is what it's showing that m1 into m2 into mn data elements will be there fine is specified with an integer sub now what is k1 k2 kn where you you were calculating the address when you were calculating the address you, you were calculating address of 12 comma 3 in two dimension so this was j and this was k now you have to calculate the address of suppose 12 3 4 9 7 or 5 of five dimension matrix so what is this k1 k2 k3 k4 k5 and dash dash kn so similarly this k1 k1 is our subscript where you need to calculate the address with the property that always remember this this k should be less than m1 this is very true suppose i have a matrix of 5 cross 4 and i am calculating the address of 4 cross 3 this is perfectly fine but if i am calculating the address of 6, 6 cross 3 this is perfectly wrong because this index should be less than this index fine similarly if i am calculating k1 then k1 should be less than m1 but greater than 1 k2 should be less than m2 less than 1 this is m1 m2 are all about fine okay and if you want to calculate the address then this is the way this is what i told you this is the way of calculating the address now what is the representation of three dimension i told you one dimension i told you two dimension now if you want to see three dimension see three dimension so in three dimension there is a row first row there is a column first column and this is a page of first page first row first column first page first row second column first page first row third column first page then first row first column second page first row second column second page first row third column second page this is third page first row first column third page three will remain same similarly this dimension is what page is all about so this page remain uh, keep changing and you keep changing the dimension fine okay so and if you want to see the figure so again either it's one dimension either it's two dimension either it's three either it's four either it's n dimension it will be either stored column wise or stored row wise so you have already understood row major order and column major order in two dimension uh, uh, video so i when i when i was going through two dimension video i told you everything very clearly what is two dimension video now we'll discuss now we will discuss same thing now we'll discuss same thing this row and way in three dimension so let's start with uh, uh, some some something which we have already discussed so generally there are two types of array so we have already discussed uh, in uh, video number one that is in one dimension we have a two type of array regular array what are regular array whose index start from 0 or 1 suppose a10 so a10 either start from 0 to 9 or you can start from 1 to 10 so these are regular array what is non-regular array whose index start from other than 0 1 that is if this is the array then in this case it start from minus 5 that is lower bound is minus 5 and upper bound is 2 so this is array, uh, regular and non-regular array first concept second concept length of array what is length of array upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 suppose you have array a 10 so what is upper bound suppose it's starting from 0 uh, so upper bound will be 9 what is lower bound 0 plus 1 so 9 minus 0 plus 1 10 fine yes a 10 has 10 elements if considering 0 as lower bound if you use a 10 having index 1 as lower bound then upper bound will be 10 10 minus 1 
upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 again you are getting 10 10 elements so it's 100 percent same either you are starting from 1 or you starting from 0 you get the same number of elements now suppose for this element for this array you want to calculate the number of element so what is upper bound upper bound is 4 4 minus minus lower bound what is lower bound minus 5 plus 1 so when you calculate this you again get 10 so here is the method of calculating for two dimension what is the number of element 5 for 4 matrix so 5 into 4 you have 20 elements so these are method of calculating what number of elements or uh, number of elements if you can address of any element of multi-dimensional array having dimension m1 m2 mn because it's a multi-dimension no if it is a multi-dimension definitely there will be more than one m2 in case of two dimension we, what we took we took two comma three two cross three so this was two dimension but we have n dimension so this will be m1 cross m2 cross mn using this is very important column major order the calculated formula the the, the order calculated using formula how to calculate uh, what is the formula the formula is this now this formula seems quite big and very confusing but i am giving you assurance i'll make you understand how this formula is and i'll i'll try that you can remember it longer time so let's start with formula then first is location of a k1 k2 kn what is k1 k2 kn if you have seen my video of two dimension array where we have calculated address of a 12 comma 3 where 12 comma 3 was what this was j and this was k now you're because now my address my uh, array is n dimension so suppose i have uh, 12 3 4 dash dash 9 so th what is this this is k1 this is k2 this one is k3 and this one is k4 so this is what this is what k1 k2 k3 is all about k1 k2 kn is all about so this is will be kn i'm sorry so this is what kn all about now the first part is same base address plus w into now you can see that en ln minus 1 plus en minus 1 what this en and ln is all about first let's see what is en and ln ei is effective index ei where i could be put as n also 1 2 whatever you want ei is effective index where the formula is ki minus lower bound so what is ki we have just uh, seen that this one is k1 so if you are calculating e1 so e1 will be k1 minus lower bound and what is lower bound lower bound of first part of matrix fine and what is length we have just seen length here that upper bound minus lower bound plus one so l1 l2 l3 by this we can calculate down length also <clears throat> now you have a formula let's see the formula the formula is en ln minus 1 plus en minus 1 plus uh, into ln minus 2 how how this formula is and uh, how we can remember this formula so let's start first of all en then multiply en with 1 less than en that is n then ln minus 1 then add en with same power same subscript of l that is en minus 1 then multiply again multi if you are multiplying e with l then multiply with 1 less then it will be ln minus 2 then similarly it will go and at last it will reach e3 then it will be multiply l2 then it will be added with e2 then it will be multiply with one less and added with same after that there will be no scope fine so this is the formula of column major order but right now you must be confused how to use this formula what you are talking about so in, in next slide we are going to solve one question and i'm giving you 100 percent assurance that in next slide you will understand this formula very clearly now you have a multi-dimension array address calculation using column major order and the question is this suppose three dimension array a is declared using so you have a three dimension array this array is of of type non-regular array which we have already explained so this is non-regular array this is first part second and third fine okay now you have a non-regular suppose the array is stored using column major order suppose it is stored using column major order base address is 200 word length is 4 your you have two question calculate the number of elements in array a now first question is how many numbers are elements are there and then address of this so in order to calculate the number of element in order to calculate number of element uh, we have to calculate length of each dimension so uh, we have three dimension one two three so calculate the length and what is the formula of length we have just seen li is equal to upper bound minus lower bound plus one now put if you want to calculate l1 then upper bound the uh, the di first dimension upper bound is eight minus lower bound two plus one will give you what seven fine then calculate l2 upper bound upper bound is 1 
minus lower bound which is minus 4 plus 1 will give you what 1 plus 4 will give you 6 fine l3 upper bound that is 10 minus lower bound that is 6 plus 1 will give you 5 so finally what you did you calculated l1 as 7 l2 as 6 and l3 as 5 fine okay now I'll, I'll rub this because I need a space. So I'm rubbing this. So you have calculated this. Now, what is number of element? No, obviously, if you have a two dimension matrix, fine. The element, uh, it's of five cross four. So number of element is what? Five into four. What is five? Length of one dimension. What is four? Length of second dimension. So you, when you multiply, you get the number of elements. So five, four, 20. There are 20 element in the matrix. Similarly, you have calculated the length. So you have a length. So number of element will be number of element will be L1 into L2 into L3, which is uh, L1 is seven into six into five, which is 210 fine 6 5 30 30 into 7 210 fine so number of element so number of element which is 210 so you have solved this question so you have solved this question so number of element you have 210 so finally you have solved this question that number of element you have 210 now your second task is to calculate address of a 5 minus 1 and 8 now what you will do now what you will do so you know the formula Again, I'm showing you the formulas. This is this was the formula where you have to calculate location of A, K1, K2, Kn. What is K1, K2, Kn? This one is K1, this one is K2, and this one is K3. Fine, because we are using three dimension. Now, as we have already calculated L1, L2, L3, now we have to calculate E also, E1, E2, E3, because we have three dimension. So, what is the formula of E? E I is equal to Ki minus lower bound. So, E1 will be equal to k1 minus lower bound what is k1 5 so put in formula so 5 minus lower bound lower bound of first dimension what is the lower bound of this dimension 2 so you put 2 so 5 minus 2 will be 3 then e2 e2 is what k2 minus lower bound so it is what is k2 you have k2 as minus 1 k2 and what is the lower bound of this minus 4 so minus minus 4 will give you what again 3 and e3 will be k3 minus lower bound what is k3 8 what is lower bound here 6 6 so you have 2 so what you did you calculated e1 so i am writing here you calculated e1 as 3 you calculated e2 as 3 you calculated e3 as 2 fine so finally you calculated this now you have calculated everything you have calculated everything your job is to just put in the above formula if you see the above formula you uh, above formula of column major order start from n so what is n the number of dimension here number of dimension is 3 so it will start from 3 so the formula will be something like that base address plus w into e3 because n value is 3 e3 into l2 put then e n minus 1 again e2 then ln minus 2 put n value 3 3 minus 2 is 1 l1 plus e1 no fine e1 because this has same thing now multiply with l0 there is no concept of l0 so will our formula will stop over here so finally our formula will stop over here now put the value now you have everything in in your hand you now you put the formula now when you put the value in the above formula base address 200 what is w4 into what is e3 what is e3 e3 is 2 so you put 2 fine into l2 into l2 what is l2 l2 is 6 what is l2 6 what is e2 3 fine now multiply with l1 what is l1 7 7 now add e1 what is e1 e1 is 3 fine so 3 l2 is 6 and uh, l1 is 7 fine now calculate 200 plus 4 into 2 6 12 12 plus 3 15 15 into 7 is 105 105 plus 3 108 
now you multiply 108 with 4 this will give you 400 and then 8 with 4 8 for 32 this give you 432 and when you add 432 with 200 you get 632 so finally 632 is what answer of this question column major order so finally what column major order is 632 fine so uh, you, you know now i hope uh, uh, just prior to this slide you might be finding this formula very tricky so it's it's very easy how remember this you start with e3 multiply one less add same multiply one less add same and keep on doing like this fine okay <coughs> okay now let's see the row major order everything remains same we have already discussed this part we have already discussed this part uh, now address of uh, any element in uh, using row major order is this one so what is the change over here the change is very slightly uh, very little change that everything remains same what happened you there you started with en here you start with here there you started with decreasing order here you start with increasing order e1 then multiply with one greater l2 then add same this will remain same multiply one greater add same multiply one greater same then you will reach to en minus one multiply one greater and add same so so you have finally reached here fine okay and at last i'll show you the same question same question which we have solved prior but now you have to solve the same question using what using a uh, row major order i have written uh, uh, this this you have to solve using row major order so it's my uh, <clears throat> task to you it's a homework you just solve it and you just solve it and let me know in a comment box that what is the answer so at last i'll say 